Imagine, if you will, a dragon crawling up from the mountainside to face you down, smoke curling from its nostrils, it reaches its claws out and inhales a breath to breathe fire, while you pull out your magical sword and prepare to face down that demon. Or maybe video games aren't your thing? Think about a complex financial report that comes up every weekend, it gets calculated every Friday afternoon, summing up tens of thousands of transactions, balancing accounts right down to the penny. Or an industrial floor full of two-story tall machines that are going to perform a new job every day and convert raw material into some manufactured good. What do all of these scenarios have in common? They are all something awesome that a computer can do. And I think this is probably universally known at this point in our lives. Computers are amazing. They can do just about anything. But here's the important part about that. Computers can't figure out how to do anything on their own. Computers are effectively empty vessels that require instructions to do all of this stuff. And they require those instructions, often called programs or software, for every single task they do. And that includes rendering that giant dragon that we just saw, or something as simple as popping up that menu when you click on Windows in the lower left-hand side of your desktop, and you get that little application list. Computers can be thought of as kind of like a hot air balloon, right? A hot air balloon without any hot air is really just a pretty canvas laying on the ground. It's not until you fill it up with programs, with instructions, that it soars through the sky and does this incredible thing. And that's where programmers come in. That's where development enters the picture. There's a joke somewhere in here to be made about developers being full of hot air, but I'm not going to make it. I rather want to point out the fact that developers are not the hot air and developers are not the balloon. A programmer, a developer, is the furnace inside of the basket that's heating up the air. We are the engine that drives those computers, and it's an awesome job. I will absolutely never forget the first program that I ever wrote. I sat down with a book in front of my computer, something called QBasic, and I wrote this little program here, and all I did was ask for a person's name and then print it out. That's it. I said, what is your name? The person typed in their name, hit enter, and then it said, hello, whatever they had typed in. Man, this is such a simple program. But, but honestly, that's a lot of what programming is, solving simple tasks with simple solutions so that you can combine them together to solve larger problems. And there are a lot of different ways to be a programmer as well. Like I said, you're not limited to being this person who's huddled in the corner by themselves, clattering away on a keyboard. There are different aspects of development, different technical fields for development, web applications, mobile devices. There's also a lot of different industries that are going to require programmers. I can tell you that programming is a fundamental building block for uh, many different careers. As a developer myself, I've been involved in healthcare, pharmaceutical research, finance, insurance, even HVAC engineering. I found over the years programming to be an excellent career choice. Over the years, it's allowed me to steer towards many different interesting fields and many different interesting jobs. I think you'll find it just as neat and interesting as well. I hope you do, and if, frankly, if you're watching this video series, you've already taken the first step towards it. So I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.